Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. My name is Soleil and I garden in zone 6A and today it is a beautiful snowy day outside. I can hardly believe it. It's going to be crunchy underneath the foot and uh, it's going to be beautiful. So let's take a look around the garden and see what's happening. Things are all quiet and insulated today. But you can still hear some birds coming around. Right here on the deck, our potentillas are looking really cool. I think they look beautiful with the snow on them. And this hydrangea is looking gorgeous with its plume heads covered. Let's take a look at the arborvitas. I love when they get decked out in snow. It's just kind of drabbled all over them. The kale is completely covered now, barely peeking out. This is some fairly uh, heavy, wet snow. We're supposed to get more. Doesn't this garden bed look so much better now that I cleaned out all of the dead irises? It's all ready to go for spring. actually see some of the snow falling off of some of the branches of the arborvita. And the pinky winky in all of its glory. I've put cloches over some of my small hydrangeas that I planted that were just babies that I got last year at the end of the fall and planted just to make sure that they're well protected. I especially think that the hawthorn tree with all its red berries looks so pretty this time of year. I didn't get the uh, chairs covered this year, but that's okay. These were kind of a uh, cheap find on Facebook Marketplace, so uh, they'll be fine over this winter and last us a couple more years still. But isn't that pretty? Even the privet hedge is really starting to look like a hedge now. And the Tian Chen seven sunflowers still keep their beautiful bark and the beautiful seed heads. Now I have come out and put some branches out into the garden after I took down the Christmas tree. One of the things that I do is I cut all of the branches off. So those have, you know, made it look really lovely as well in some of the pots that I have. You'll see they're just kind of sticking out. But it's really beautiful to have. Doesn't the fence look nice in the snow too? With each of the caps just kind of covered. And the beautiful little birdhouse is covered in snow. Witch hazel looks like it's starting to try to bloom, but I think because we're going to be get hit with a arctic blast here soon that it will probably not bloom all the way. But if you can look real close, you can see a little bit of orange on there. I am really looking forward to seeing that one bloom this year because um, last year they were really low and so the blooms are starting to get a little bit higher off the ground as the witch hazel gets bigger. Another pinky winky looking gorgeous.
here's another pot that I put some pine branches in from our Christmas tree after I cut it apart. And you can see through the fence, you can see our boxwoods have some snow on them. I mean, everything does. The beautiful evergreen in the background. We're supposed to get a few more inches tomorrow and then really, really cold. So I'm actually glad that the snow is coming because that will really help to protect the plants for the cold part. The beautiful colors on this, green and red and white. It's slippery out today, but it's nice to see that the shrubs are holding up really well and the pieris um, are definitely, you know, taking up space in the winter garden now. So that is fantastic because before, you know, there wasn't really much to look at back here. Magical arborvitas. And we'll take you out front as well. Um, the junipers definitely got hit quite a bit. I did tie this rose up after um, it was kind of swished down after the last snow. but And it's holding it up a little bit better. But it still flopped because I didn't give it proper support after we got the new fence in. So that'll be something to work on this year for sure. The pretty little stems on the barberry. And maybe I should have taken a few more blooms off of this hydrangea because some of them definitely look very droopy but it's still pretty they haven't snapped now you can see the nine bark this little devil nine bark and how it drapes so much in the snow because that's its growth habit anyways And her quick fire, very sturdy, looking great. I just love going through this new fence and not having to make a big fuss about trying to get through the gate because it's so hard before. Here we have our topiary um, burning bush. And, uh, or tree form, I guess I should say. And that one looks really cool. The texture of the bark is amazing on it. Definitely provides some winter interest. And now you can see um, what I was talking about when I said, when we were working on these urns and putting the branches in that they were sticking up and that then the snow would come and weigh them down and it has but they still look really beautiful and that's why i do them the way that i do you know you get to know your area a bit over time wow look at how pretty the seed heads on this grass look with the snow on them And uh, the juniper doesn't look too bad. Yes, it got some heavy weight uh, from the snow the last time we got snow and a bit this time, but I think it's doing overall pretty good. 
So I didn't do anything to kind of, you know, tie it up or anything like that. It's going to get too tall for anything like that. Um, if it becomes too much of a chore, I don't really want something like that in my garden. So hopefully it will continue to do well. This garden bed, the bobos have definitely taken a hit now. So if the snow does melt, I might come out here and clip off the branches on those. We have all the little tufts of the sedum that are poofy. And the weeping cherry. And you can see that the junipers that are over here They look pretty good. They are splaying out a little bit. This is their first year in the garden. We just planted these. Um, so hopefully they'll be all right. Now all of the hellebores are covered up in this garden bed. You can see the beauty of the Japanese maple right now. I think that looks really gorgeous. And the Sky Pencil Holly with all of its green is also great. Now back here I did manage to get some protection over the rosemary plant that I have, which has Verbena vernariensis behind it. So hopefully that will protect it through the winter and it will come back one more year and it will be a third year rosemary in a zone 6A. And I just love the way the boxwoods look as topiary balls this time of year. You just can't go wrong with that look, I think. Well, there you have it, a beautiful snowy garden tour. I hope you guys are enjoying your winter and doing some planning and thinking about your garden and trying to patiently wait for spring to come. Maybe you're starting some seeds. Maybe you're just thinking about changes that you might be making in the garden. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye.